Okay, firstly, under these tiles here, that should have been all cemented in. It's not been done so. We've got two blobs of mortar. And that's as far as that went, despite being assured that it had all been done last night on Friday. Right, as you can see, there's big gaps under all the tiles. And there's certainly none of them are married up. There's broken and chipped tiles. Been fitted. That's the dry ridge tile system that was installed. Absolute mess up there. I've been informed that it should never have been fitted to this type of tile. It's broken tiles and every tile has this gap, as you can see here. I've been informed the battening's not been put in the right place, so therefore the tiles aren't marrying up. And it's every single tile's like this. Here's another example. All the way up here. Okay, here should have had a gully fitted underneath it. If it not, it just goes straight onto the membrane underneath. All the tiles are loose. None of them are joining. Okay, and where the two roofs meet, obviously they're different tiles, but it's just a bit of cement thrown in there, which a roofing contractor has just told me will leak like a sieve. It's another example of the workmanship here. These tiles all hanging down here. It's actually in danger of coming off the roof, they're so loose. I don't touch it, but I will. I think they're just all. None of them are nailed in, they're just all sitting here, just loose. Uh, one of the guys who came said he had to use his hands and feet because he didn't dare walk on it. It's the worst roof he'd ever seen in his life. It just gets better and better. As you can see, none of this is straight. It's all wonky and rickety. Shocking job. All right, that's how the flashing's been left. I was told that should have been replaced. And that's the dry ridging. As you can see, it's all up and down. So we get to the end where it's just a, a disaster. That's that side of it. That's a finished job, apparently. Like I say, I can't emphasise enough how bad this is. As you can see, just gaps everywhere. And at the top here, on the edge of the roof. Just holes. Water's going to get straight in there. It's shocking. Okay, now this is the edge where the gutter is, and underneath there, that membrane should have gone under these tiles, not on top of them. You see, they're just, that's just going to fall off, it's just ridiculous. I say, I'm worried. The whole thing's going to come down. Awful. OK, we had asked that all these scaffolding pipes were capped. That's the one by the window there, where they're not all going straight out to the brickwork. So when the scaffolding comes down, it's all going to be marked. Right, we wanted new soffits and fascias. So he's put the new fascias on when he should have put the soffit boards on first. If you can see the new fascia boards there and the soffit boards are there still. Right and as I said that should be two inches there which it is in places but it's going down on that side to almost an inch.